You know the places, those magical spots that remind you of the best of times, simpler times, places where adventure waits around every corner, and as soon as you leave, you can't wait to return. The world's a strange old place at the moment, and I guess it makes those special places just that much more important. Everyone will have somewhere different, somewhere that calls to them. For me, it's the far north of New Zealand that keeps drawing me back. So that's where we're heading, on a good old-fashioned road trip, to chase a few fish in the magical far north. This is Martin Madness! It's right up there with the biggest kingies I've ever caught. This is a special place, so these are special fish. We got a sword! Right, off we go. No matter how much we explore New Zealand's stunning coastline, there always seems to be places that we gravitate back towards and the far north of New Zealand is quickly becoming one of those. It's early spring here in New Zealand. As you can see, we've got some stunning weather. So we've loaded up both our Surtees boats with some exciting new products from our mates at Daiwa New Zealand. Grabbed a couple of the boys from Daiwa and we've got two days exploring this stunning part of New Zealand, trying to find some big fish to put this gear to the test on. A wee bit of get moving. As you can see, the sun's in the sky, so we're being in daylight. Let's roll. Gonna be no problem with the temperature today. Travelling shots, but what I can tell you is that we've roared north this morning. Over there in the background, I can see North Cape, and we're on one of our trusty deep pins. So Scott's deployed a new Saltiga jig. We'll see if there's any resident kingies home. It's full moon at the moment, so the fishing can be a little tricky, particularly jigging for kingfish. But we're in the right spot. We'll see how we get on. Still a bit of a bite in that southwesterly wind, but nothing like a little bit of mechanical jigging to warm up the cockles. Mechanical jigging is certainly not anything new. I first found out about it maybe 15 years ago, and the first time I tried dropping one of these into a pack of kingies, I was blown away. I thought that they'd cracked away to catch every kingfish in the ocean. But for whatever reason, it's certainly not front of mind for a lot of anglers anymore, but these knife jigs, mechanically jigged with a setup like this, is still an extremely effective way to catch kingfish. And on some days, it's simply unbeatable. So I'm pretty excited to see Daiwa coming out with a new range of Saltiga knife jigs and these beautiful little Saltiga overheads that are perfect for the technique that's required to get them working and entice bites from big kingies. Hopefully we'll do just that. Oh, what do you got, Cooter? Oh, maybe not. That ain't a Cooter, mate. Sweet. Nice to be. Yeah. Oh, that's not a bad start, mate. That's not a bad start. Good little warm up fish, mate. Yeah. 
a little bit bigger than I actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old Saltiga lever drag, boy. That's a good fish, mate. <laughs> little 10 kilo job here, boy. Little start. Yeah. Fatty. Look at his gut. Yeah. yeah. Well, they get a lot bigger than that out here. We're right off the top of New Zealand with a lot of currents, a lot of bait fish, and these kingfish grow to giant sizes. Excellent. Oh, well, at least we know there's some here. That. Yeah. That looks like kingies, bro. See that? Individual marks. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, well, a couple of drifts. I don't know how big this fish is. It feels pretty weighty. Oh, there he goes. He doesn't like that. That's a good one, though. Yeah, nice fish. Nice, nice on that lighter set. Yeah. Good effort. Beauty. Oh, he's foul hooked. That's why it was a weird fight. Don't see that too often. Must have just blimmin' missed it. Missed it. I don't think there's a hardier fish in the ocean than a blimmin' kingfish, so he'll be totally fine. Couple of little fatties to start the trip. Hopefully we can find some bigger ones, but we'll send them home. See ya, mate. Nice, mate. Oh, well, underway. Go back around. Go back around, I suppose. Oh, straight into it. How far down were you? Oh, they're on you, boy. Like what, 70? There he is. Oh, no, you got him. It looks a bit better. Same specs. Weird. Weird. Come here. Jeez, they can pull pretty hard when they're like that. Well, after saying that was unusual, two and two. I wonder if it's worth getting on that sign and dropping them in coda. Yeah, it could be worth a shot, eh? Because we're drifting fast. Given these new Saltiga knife jigs a bit of a go. That's a 300 gram model. So far proved to be pretty effective. We just want to do battle with a real big dog, one of these North Cape specials. Oh no, I'm getting hit. Yeah, I'm on. Oh, I dropped it. No, I'm on again. Oh. Jeez, that was high. All right. Double hookup. We uh, got a lot of drift going on. So I put the Minkota down so we can sit on the kings. It's a blimmin' amazing invention for jigging, especially when you're offshore like this and you drift so much. And sit right over top of them. And that's the result. Both the boys hooked up. Fish sitting under the boat. Giving the new Saltiga lever jags. Good old thrashing. This isn't going to be a world beater, but here we go. Nice fatty. Nice fatty. <laughs> nice on that light little gear. Give me a good fight. Oh, there'll be bigger ones here. But anyway, full moon fishing. Still pretty cold water, can be tricky, so it's good to be getting them. But I'll send him home. See you, mate. All right, Scotty, my boy. 
Must be a big one, this one. I've got a few issues under the boat. Easy, looks all right, bro. It's a good one. Look at that, bro. <laughs> Jeez, that's a beast. <laughs> yes, boy. Here we go. Oh, that's a proper one, mate. Here we go. Look at that cookie cutter shark biting him. That's a proper one, man. Nice one. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. There you go, Scotty. That's a good fish, mate. Nice chunky one. Yeah. Man. Well, that's what we were hoping for. We came to North Cape Fish. Yep. Good with that Minn Kota, eh? Leaving us oh, on the spot. Mate, being able to sit over the top of the fish like that is a game changer. Right. Send him home, mate. Woo! Good one, mate. Beautiful. Well. Still on the spot? Well, we're still on the spot. Might as well drop down and see. That was on that new... Oh, that's one Sotiga of the new Sotiga jig. jigs. Yeah. Heaps of flash, nice colour. Yeah. Look at action. Kingies are liking them. Kingies are liking them. All right. Kingfish are moving around a lot. Hopefully, we've found them again. Yeah, bro, I'm getting smacked on the way down. What the hell? What's going on? Is he, He's swimming up with it. Here he is. Oh, yep, we found them. We found them. That was weird, man. I got my jig up down about 20 metres. <laughs> Another double hookup. <laughs> How's that light set feeling, Scotty? Here's mine. Jeez, this was only just under the boat. Here we go. Here we go. Whew. It's not a bad fish. A little nugget. Oh, well. She's fun. See you next time, fella. You're a bit bigger. Fish are still there, boy. Is this the one you reckon? I don't think it's overly huge. I'm, I'm kind of glad, actually. They would have got smoke. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> nice. Oh, dude! <laughs> what are you? What? Oh, mate! This is Scotty saying it was just a little one on a little set. It's a beast. Not bad for 30 pound bro. There it is mate. Not bad for the little new lever drag 20. Yeah boy. It's a hell of a fish. Mate, that's the that's fish of the day. <laughs> that one's a bit longer. Nice it's fish, boy. Beautiful fish. Yeah. Just keep them going, eh? Yeah. Good breath? Yeah mate. Pingies are still thick down there, mate. All right, I'm gonna have another go. 50 to 100, let's see. Fish sign starts at 50. Stake my reputation on it. No, I won't do that. Mind you, you gotta have a decent reputation to stake it on it, right? See? Told ya. Told ya they'd be here, mate. If I can join the fun. Yep, they're there. They're there, boy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Eesh. Jeez, man, I'm railed. No gimbal hurts. The, oh. Bust me, dude. Nice no, jig's still there. Damn, that was a good fish. Oh, they're still there, they're still there. Watch this. I wonder if I lost my hook. I can feel them hitting my jig. Look. Oh, stationary hookup. Oh, I'm getting railed again. Yeah. Oh. Oh mate. Ah. 
Jeez, mm. ah, boy. This better be big because I'm making hard work of it. Ah, Good fish, mate. Ah, this is more like the far north we know and love. It's not good for the inside of my groin. There we go. Nice fish, man. Nice fish. That's more like it. Nice fish. There we go, boy. Jeez, he put up a pretty blooming good account of himself. Not a monster, but jeez, he fought blooming hard. Had two good fish on on that little drop. Pulled one, dropped the jig back down, stopped it, and this one smoked it while the jig was stationary. Certainly gave me a good stretch and we'll put him back. Cheers, mate. Nice. Didn't get any bites that time? No. Just when that sign's really high up like how it was. Man, I thought that fish was going to be bigger. <laughs> I was getting owned. Right. Part one of the brief nailed. The far north keeps calling us back. And there was a few things we wanted to achieve coming up here. The first one was put these stunning new Saltiga lever drags to the test by dropping a few of these new Saltiga knife jigs down onto some kingies and we did that. Some hard fighting fish in the deep. Scotty got himself a couple of beauties as he always does. But the other thing we wanted to achieve was to go in a little closer and put some bait junkies to the test. We're pretty excited about these new bait junkie soft lures. We've been lucky enough to be testing them for the last month or so and they've been really, really effective. So if you want to catch big snapper, there's not many places that are better than that place right there. So we'll get in there, see if we can't get some big snappers. Finish off a bloody good day in a very special part of the country. But too much talking, not enough doing. Let's go. That was a good way to start an adventure. Let's see if we can find some snappers. Oh, feels good to be stretched on a few kingies again, boy. I say it every time, eh, but it never gets old every time I see it. An awesome sight, eh? Yeah, so cool. I'll probably get a snag one. Yeah, there he is. Oh, oh well, there you go. Love it. Find out what they are, kawaii I think. Nothing wrong with the kawaii in the tank. Ish. Not quite in the mouth actually, side of the head. Kawaii. That there will get smoked by a far north kingfish. Cool when you can hear the fish. Think about that, you can hear fish. I love it. Look at them, look at them under us. Epic, that's sick. Oh dude, I never get, oh there's heaps of trevally in there, look. See the yellow tails? <laughs> Too right. That was cool. That was real cool. Nice snapper, mate. 
Oh well. Yeah. There you go. Chasing the car while school's around. Having a play. And what's under them? Nice snappers. Excellent. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Ooh. That was up high. Nice. Got the bait junkie baby bass colour on. Love it when they do that, but right up high. Jeez, the old jigging arms are feeling a bit jaded. <laughs> nice snappy. Ah, I'll be right. Beauty. Oh, that's the way. We might have found a few fish here, mate. It's so good. That's the way, Scotty. Right, beautiful little fish. That's the way. That's the way. That's the kind of place that one can be a proper one. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh good mate, oh, well it's nice to have a little bit of consistency on the snapper front, that full moon seems to be kind of terrorising us a little bit, but anyway, we on. Yeah. Beauty man. Splashing on the surface. Oi, there we go boy. This might be a better model, mate. That's more like it, mate. Nice, mate. That's more like it. Beauty. Beauty. Nice dark fish. Yeah, yeah. Almost looks like a kelpie, eh? But. Send him home. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Well, oh shit. Oh, he's got me on the bottom, bro. <laughs> She's been a pretty slow afternoon. We Picked up a couple of fish, played with some good workups, and we've sort of been pottering our way back down the coast with not too much luck, to be fair. This reel is like hot. <laughs> I it was a or a snapper? snapper. Bugger. Well, in all the excitement, our battery went flat. And there he goes. But we hooked a good one. It's a bummer, it's a real bummer. Now that I've calmed down a bit, it's fair to say I'm a little disappointed. That was a proper spanking. But I'm gutted about that fish, oof. Anyway, after that spectacular start to our adventure this morning, having a sweet session, mechanically jigging for those kingies, the old fish haven't really played to the script. We've had a few chances. I got soundly humbled, picked up a couple of nice ones in the shallows, but despite the glorious weather, unfortunately, the fish aren't following the script. And we've got another big day tomorrow, so we'll probably call it a day here pretty soon. Bright and early tomorrow morning, we're back into it, chasing these big snapper we need to cap off another awesome adventure in this beautiful fisherman's paradise. But for now, Home time.
All right. Day two. Let's go. It's another cracker morning here in the far north, and today's mission is snapper. After the awesome kingfish antics of yesterday, we need to tick the snapper box because they proved a little elusive yesterday. Maddie from Darwin, New Zealand is going to join Scotty and I. Hopefully he'll be the lucky charm and we can get into some big hard fighting snappers on our dial with bait junkies. The wind's supposed to get up this afternoon, hopefully it won't be an issue, but we'll get moving. Start chasing down some fish. Let's go boys, we on. Snapper time, come on. You Kahawai. Look at the fish here, bro. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah, boy. Snapper. Quite a good one. Main. Oh, well, Scotty was. Oh, yeah, boy. Jeez. Scotty was just flicking a stick bait around. I thought I'd chuck out a soft bait. As you can see, it's a bit windier, a bit rougher. Hopefully, the fish are on. This feels like quite a good fish. It's probably just a panning. I'm just a bit gun shy after yesterday's ass whooping. Here he is. Oh, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. <laughs> Yoo! Main. Oh, well, nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Jeez, that's a good start, boy. Once again, see how quickly fortunes can change. There we go. The bait junkies. That's a cracker. Beautiful. The wind's whipping, swell's rolling, but it appears as though the fish might be biting. So that's awesome. I love it. We'll send them back. See ya, mate. Thanks for the fight. There he goes, he's ready, mate. Nope, is he gonna be all right? Oh, he's off, right? Sweet. Great stuff. Well, that feels a bit better. Nothing like a nice hard fighting snapper to lift morale. Let's see if we can't pluck up another one. Oh, yeah, boy. We own. That was high, mate. That's a snapper, too. Here he is. It's all good. It's all good. Man, that was up high. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they're sitting up high with the bait. Yeah. Jeez, it's nice to feel a snapper biting. I thought I'd lost my touch. Funny, eh? Change in wind direction. Sea getting stirred up a little bit. Come on the bite. Oh, yeah, boy. There he is. That's not a very big one. Oh, he's changed his mind. <laughs> Might have been a bit hard on him. Jeez, what a difference a day can make. Nice kelpie, mate. Beauty. Beauty. Nice. Ah, 
Oh, well, their motor oil's going good this morning. Smashing it. Such good fun. I'm a big bait man, I like the big 7 inch jerk shads. And as you can see, they'll still get those smaller fish as well as the big dogs. Send them home. Nice. Oh well. Seems to be working. We've fished here before and it was exactly the same thing. The fish are very, very localised. Which is fine, as long as they don't move. Oi! That was a nice high one, mate. Nice fish, bro. That one on. Yeah, boy, look at that. Beauty. Bait junkies. Yeah, yeah boy. Got him that time. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dropped him. She's sporty, mate. She's sporty. Nice, mate. Oh, Matty, oh. That's the way of sun. There you go, boy. There you go, Matty. Where are the BP washes? That's what I'm busy trying to find. Nice, mate. It was, uh, yeah, it's, um, that low end of the tide definitely slowed the bite on, but change of location, new drift. New attitude. New attitude. Scotty's on. <laughs> it's a good first bite. It might not be a super donk, but. No. Still, mate. It's a fish, mate. It's a fish. Good one, man. That's what we need. A few more of those. Beautiful. Yeah, hey boy. Good work. Good work. Cow eye. Ah, uh, yep. Yep, there he is. Good. Oh, that was a nice bite. That was a nice bite. Nice bite. Cool, man. Nice to be getting into some fish again. Oh, the feisty little one. Putting that camo to work. Yeah, nice fish. Quite like that color. Seems to work pretty good. Beautiful little fish. See you later, dude. Here he is, Here's a, here he is. Come on. Got him. Oh god, not a very big one. <laughs> Don't throw him, might be alright. Actually, oh no. You always just want to feel them pull, do that real pull back, you know. Another nice, nice fish though. Another nice fish. Here he comes. Oh, nice fish. Look at that. It's a ripper. Yeah, boy. They really seem to inhale these bait junkies. I don't know if it's that Elastamax or what, but they... So many of the fish come up with the bait way in its gob. Seven inch camo. Haven't been using these for very long, but that's accounted for most of the biggest ones I've caught that colour. Anyway, 
get him back. See you next time, mate. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Mean. Oh, that tide might have just started moving again or something, because it certainly seems to have turned on again a little bit. There it is. Oh, yep. I mean, geez, they're hitting them hard. Beauty. Jeez, that little bugger went hard. Look at the fish on the sounder, mate. Another nice one for the camo. Beautiful. I've got the feeling there's a big one around here somewhere. It's gonna be on. Let's see you, mate. Right, geez, the fish are stacking up, boys. They are stacking up. Not bad, mate. Boy, there he is. There he is. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, sorry, Brett. Where's your line at, dog? How you feeling there, Scotty? Nice fish, mate. Real nice fish. That was sporty. Yeah. Oh, it's a DLT, mate. Beauty. Nice, dude. Nice. Woo. Shot. <laughs> good work, mate. Real good work. I'll just jump back on the helm. I haven't backed down hard on a snapper for a while. Good fish, mate. It's got a funny, like, kink in its tail. Oh. Sure did. Pretty fish. Oh. There he goes. Good as gold, mate. Oh, straight in again. It's good. It's good. She's getting pretty roly-poly out here in the bay. That northeasterly wind has continued to build and build all through the morning. We've been picking up a steady stream of 
cracking snapper everywhere from the shallows to the sand but we've just about been blown off the water here so we've stopped on our way home as you can see we're picking up some really nice snapper sign on the Garmin sounder so hopefully we can finish with a bang here so we'll give this maybe an hour and then I think everyone's going to be a bit windswept and windblown so we'll head back into Hohura Harbour but fingers crossed that it'll be a good way to finish what's been an amazing couple of days in the far north New Zealand Wind's blowing. We're just joking that if we put a couple more rods on our roof, we could just about sail home. But we've just shifted out onto the sand. We're getting pushed around a bit much in close to the islands. So we're going to see if we can finish up with a few little snappers off the sand. So far, the plan's working. Nice little school snapper. Little five inch pilchard glow. Just shifted down to a three bar o hook. It's got a shorter shank. Gives that lure a little bit better action. And it was too good to turn down for this little snapper. But luckily for him, he gets to live another day. You on? Oh, there you go boy. Thought he just chucked down a, a little koga on the Saltiga 10 lever drag. Bloody effective little lures those. Sliding metal lures. Boom! He's on. Oh, there he is. Hey, he's a good little fish, mate. Great fish. You might need a net for that, boy. Excellent. Nice work, Scotty. Thank you. Alright. A weekend of lure fishing continues. Jigs, soft baits, cogas. Sweet man. Nice colours off the sand. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Those silvery fish. Good one, mate. Yeah, boy. Here you go. Maybe it's a koga kind of a day. With that drift and being able to get to the bottom. Yeah. Ooh. Aggressive. Yeah. Off the drag. Nice, mate. Nice. Here it comes. Another nice little snapper. Pretty little fish, mate. Yeah, boys. He's on. The dog. What you got, Maddie? Oh, that's alright. That's not a bad fish. Nice little fish, mate. A wiser man than me once said that you gotta know when to fold him. You might have heard the song. And for us, I think it's about time to fold him, boys. We've flogged this horse as hard as we can, but the nor easterly is now cooking. The sea conditions are horrible. It's made drifting and soft baiting just about impossible. And unfortunately, we're going to have to wrap up what's been a pretty awesome time in the far north. We came up here wanting to do battle with some big fish, and we did that. And whilst the real hero fish eluded us, it never disappoints in this part of the world. So we better go home, sneak into the harbour get out of this rough sea and wind and look forward to another awesome fishing adventure coming real soon. Yew! Let's get out of here boys. Righto team, good mission.